today I'm here with a new video and today it's going to be a long long video I think because I'm doing a first impression of five palettes in one video I asked you both on Instagram and here on my community tab if you wanted one long video or five normal videos and one long video did win and now you maybe don't know what I'm talking about. I am going to test out the Sweet Shop palettes from BH Cosmetics. I bought five of them. I think there were six. I didn't buy the brown one, the cone one. But I think I wanted... I don't know if you have these. I don't know if you know this, but together they form like an ice cream. So I'm missing the cone. <laughs> I can put in a picture how it looks because I lay them down. So I'm going to do a first impression of these five and I actually think I will swatch them. I usually don't do that. But I think I will and we will see how this will go. I have never tested out eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics first but I've heard so so many good things about these. So it's going to be really fun to finally try them. I excuse if you now, at least in the first look, hear the fan. I need to have it on because I would die without it. <laughs> Feels like. So I'm going to do first impression, swatch them, and I can write here which time the each of the palette is. I got the sherry on top that is the red one. Orange sorbet. Sorbet. It's a hard word. Sorbet in Swedish. S sorbet. Uh, the orange. Cotton candy. The pink one. Bubble gum. The blue one. And pistachio. The green one. So I will just start. And I will start with sherry on top. The red one. They feel really like nice the palettes. As I said, I haven't tried any eyeshadow palettes from BH Cosmetics before, so I don't know if they usually feel good like this. But I really like the print and the text is a little bit raised and also the sprinkles on the palette is a little bit raised. And all of they have eight colors. You can see close up on this. So this is the sherry on top. It's the red one as I said. And the top row is all shimmers and the bottom row is mattes. The only thing I feel, my palette smells a little bit. I don't know if they're supposed, it doesn't smell that good. It smells like an old lady but yeah. But okay, I will swatch this and we will see. I at least I think I don't want to, want to do with this, but I will swatch it. Okay, so these are the swatches and the shimmers, they swatched amazing. And I think this is like a pretty good color story. It's red, but it has some kind of different tones to it as well. You see it better here? Focus, please. So these are the colors from Sherry on top <laughs> and I still think I know what I want to do. I don't think I will test out all the colors but I will try to use as many as I can and we will just see how, how it goes. All I know is I want to use at least <laughs> one shimmer but I don't think that's going to be so hard because it's four shimmer and four mattes. So I will try to use at least one shimmer in all of the looks. So some looks might look a little bit different with the different palettes. So I think actually we'll start with this Sunday, the lightest. Because on my arm it looked a little bit darker. So I will start with this in my crease. Feels like they have kind of a big or they have some kick up I 
I know that people people usually at least kind of like BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes that they are like they are good <laughs> for the money but it feels like people were like head over heels with these I don't think I have seen a single bad review and these have not come to Beauty Bay if you as me live in Europe you can order them from BH Cosmetics German site I didn't have any problems at all. I paid with PayPal, but I know that some friends of mine have had some troubles with the site. I really like this shade. It feels a little bit more pink than that I thought it looked in the pan. Now I will go in with Tarte. I hope it's not too dark and just deepen down my crease a little bit. And I have finally cleaned all my brushes like a good really good clean so I will go in with the tart and just deepen it down see how they lay on top of each other and if they blend together good and they do and this was pigmented And I'm not looking forward to editing this video and it's going to be such a long video I feel like. Okay it feels like these blended together really 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 good and I think it was good that I took the Sunday first because this feels maybe a little bit too hard, harsh, just to have on like direct, I don't know why I thing like that because I usually don't care at all but I want to use like almost all of the shimmers I think but I will start to go in with sprinkles this one and just put it a little bit out on my outer corner and then I think I'll go in with maracino and use it on my lid and take sweet in my inner corner I hope that it will work. So I start with the sprinkle, the dark matte one. And we'll see how this, if it's super dark or how it is. It's kind of dark. And I just take it a little bit up my crease as well. And I really hope that the fan doesn't disturb too much. But it's so... <laughs> it is kind of okay in here because it's still pretty early in the day. But with two studio lights... If you don't do YouTube yourself, studio lights are so freaking warm. Okay, this worked so, so good. I am so far really impressed when I haven't touched the shimmers yet so far i'm really impressed they work really good so now i'm going in with i think it's maracino don't quote me on that and use it and i will take maracino first and the brush picks it up good it lays good on and now i just have my eyeshadow base First I was thinking if I'm going to cut my crease, but I really want to see what these shadows go for. Okay, this looks really good. It feels like it's easy to blend it together with sprinkles, the dark one. I think it feels a little bit strange to name the darkest matte one sprinkles I think it should be like the lightest one because you just sprinkle on top <laughs> I love if that is my only complaint with this palette because then it is a good palette if I only complain about the names 
I think I don't have seen any videos on the orange sorbet. I think I've seen videos with all the others. Or maybe one video with orange sorbet. Orange sorbet. So now I will go in with use this one and take it the rest on my lid. And now we'll see. Usually shimmer shades aren't hard to blend into each other. So I hope this will work as well. If it doesn't, we have a problem, but we do not have a problem. I really like how like opaque they are. Okay, I really like this. And okay. Like right now. <laughs> really like this i think though i want to go in with tarte this one that i had in my crease to deepen everything down go in with that just a little bit so i just dip the brush once and then especially like in here but all the way but especially in here just to have a little bit of a better blend okay i am really really happy I just see now that I need to go in with a little bit of sprinkles out here. And this is not the shadow's fault. I have like, I have had like a dry patch on this eye. And now I haven't been that good with my eye cream. So the dry patch has returned again. But other than that, it looks really good they blended really good together so i will take away the fallouts fix my base and my brows and then i come back and we do the under eyes and i think i will do the same maybe try this wild cherry to have on my under eyes so maybe i will use all the shades except black cherry or maybe i can take that on my under eyes too and then go in with this sweet in my inner corner i really hope that that will work so I will fix base and brows and then I come back. So I am back and I really like the eyeshadow like this and I really like my base today. It feels like I have a really good day today. I don't know why. But that's good I guess so I maybe shouldn't like question it. So for my under eyes I think I will try to have the two colors that I haven't used. So I go in with Wild Share and smoke it out. I deepen it down with Black Sherry. And then take Sweet in my inner corner. And I really hope this will work. Will work. Will work. One thing that though could destroy my good mood is when I'm editing this and here that the fan is super annoying but it's so hot I am so pleased with this palette as it is right now and I really hope <laughs> that all the others are as good as this one because then I'm going to be happy camper and then I will go in with Black Sherry, this one to deepen down. And I don't know how this will look, if the shimmers will show or not. We will see. I'll tap it off. And it actually does. Maybe it isn't that deep that I thought it was going to be. So I will go in with Sweet and I actually want to spray this because I don't know if it's going to like fall on my face. I'm going to be sad if it do. Okay, I was so afraid that it was going to be too dark to have as an inner corner. It's not too dark. If I could have chose, I would have 
like a brighter one, but it is what it is. So, uh, this is uh, the finished eyes and I, I'm really, really happy. I'm going to put on some mascara, something in my waterline and a lippy and then I come back and I'm going to do like a review on the, all the palettes in the end. But I'm thinking that I can do a little review on the palette, on this palette now, if you just are interested in this one. So I will fix the last things and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Insomniac from Colourpop on my lips. I used a article called KVD Vegan Beauty. I think so. In bachelorette and I am <laughs> this has nothing to do with BH cosmetics but I have decided to start to use my KVD vegan beauty things on my channel again love them and yeah this is the finished look and I just have to say that I am in love <laughs> with this palette as right now it is I'm really happy with the look. Really, really happy. So it ended up <laughs> that I used all the colors in this. I think they are really good. The shimmers are so, so good. They worked perfectly. The mattes are really easy to blend together. The dark one is really, really good as well. I am just so pleased with this palette. And I really hope that the rest of the palettes are the same in quality because then all of them are going to be amazing she is okay Astrid even though she sounds like that you don't have to worry so yeah I am so happy with this one and if you want me if you want to see me doing that's mine if you want to see me doing a look with all of the other palettes, just keep on watching. So it's time for the second palette with the Sweet Shop. And now I'm going to test out the orange Sorbet. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it in English. So this is the orange palette. It looks like this. And I am, of course, going to swatch this and then I will test it out. So these are the swatches and the shimmers look amazing. It feels though they are pretty like similar, especially this one and this one. This seems to have a little bit more of a pinkish undertone and a little bit more gold and this looks more orange, but they are kind of similar, but they were so pigmented and the mattes i i like them all maybe the last one isn't like a favorite but i like them all and first i was like okay i'm not going to use any of the shimmers in this palette maybe just an inner corner but now when i look at these i don't know so now i don't know what i want to do anymore okay I think I want to do something that is pretty similar like with my cherry on, cherry on top look and I think I just have to realize that it's maybe it's going to be like that with this videos because I want to try both matte, matte and shimmers in all the palettes so and if you hear something it is Astrid she's playing and here and I I'm not going to try to stop her. So okay, in my crease, I think I will take Tangerine and Zest and go with Tangerine like in the inner crease and then take Zest in the rest of my crease. So I will start with Tangerine. And we will see how this looks. So just in here. And my brush is a little bit stained from the cherry on top, but doesn't come off any colors, so 
it's clean it just looks a little bit dirty maybe a little bit pink and okay it's it is so freaking warm in Sweden right now it's like the summer have come back and I hate it I I just hate it so I have my fan on and my hair is blowing in the wind And it annoys the living crap out of me, but I'm not going to be able to record if I don't, don't have the fan on, so we just have to live with it. I wish it was a little bit more bright, this tangerine, but I still like it. And now I'm going in with Cess, the really, really orange one, and take it in the rest of my crease. Ooh, see how this looks then? And I think that it's this palette that I haven't seen. I'm, I think I might have seen one video on it. And that's my toe, Astrid. It feels like everything looks a little bit better on that eye than... No, on this side than on that eye. But maybe it's just me. But I like the crease like this. And now... <coughs> okay. Astrid... She turned over the whole one of the studio lights and it knocked out my energy drink. So I got energy drink everywhere and now she's biting on my foot and Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so I think I have everything under control now. And no, I don't want to shut her out because I think she's going to scream. Um, just going to scream, so yeah. Okay. Where was I? And Ola's so <laughs> kind of actually a little bit warm as well and I have... I like don't know what her problem is. Okay, so it's now I don't know actually what I really want to do. One part of me want to take like a shimmer all over the lid. But I like kind of did that in the first with the shimmer on top so... I don't know if I want to do it now, but I want, I am at least going to try one of the shimmers and I think I'm going to try this cit citron, citron, this one, citron, citron, citron in Swedish, it's the Swedish name for lemon, and maybe extra topping, so if I take extra topping out here, take citron on the rest of my lid and now she's I don't know what she is doing. Okay, so now it's just a question. The extra topping of this one. Do I want to take it like all the way or just where the orange is? I don't really know. And I am so sorry if you uh, think that this, when I'm talking about Astrid, is annoying. For you who are new here, Astrid, Astrid is our new kitten. And if you have ever had like a kitten or a puppy, they play a lot. And she can't hear anything either, so I can't like tell her to stop. And if I move her, she just come back. So yeah. Okay, I think I will take it like up to here. So okay, I will go in with this one. But yeah, the red one blended so good into the orange. Like I didn't even have to do anything. Now we will see how this will look. It looks good. And I am really impressed with the shimmers so far with uh, these and the one cherry on the top that I've tried and the mattes are also really really good and if all the palettes are going to be like this 
they have done so so good BH Cosmetics I haven't tried any other palettes from BH so maybe the formula is as good this good always I don't know but okay this cit c citrone 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 it is like I don't know it's really gold but it also has like an undertone of I don't know I don't know if you can see it but it's like pink gold and green I really like it at least so okay I will I think I'm finished with a little like this I think I will go in with this yum in my inner corner just to have an inner corner highlight but I will fix my base and my brows then we do the under eyes together maybe then yum in the inner corner and then we will see how it goes and now she's coming back so maybe it's good that I'm going to fix some things off cam for my under eyes I think I just want to go in with zest and extra topping and start with zest out here now extra topping the red one and then take the orange one and I will take it all the way and then I just want to pop the lightest shimmer in my inner corner but I'm going to use my finger for that so I take this like the whole whole way okay and then I'm just going to take this yum on my pinky dip it in and then just take it here so that's all for the eyeshadow so I'm going to pop something in my inner corner no, on my waterline but on mascara and choose a lippy and then I come back with the finished look. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used one of NYX Vivid Bright's eyeliner in Shebang. I love these. And for my lips I used a liquid suede in Orange County I think it is. Also from NYX. Maybe I did say that. And yeah, this is the finished look with the orange sorbet. And I used one, two, three, four, five shades. So I didn't use these three. All of the shades I used works so so good. The shimmers are real good. The two I've used. This feels like it is kind of a topper. I think if you lay it over like a really dark, really dark other shade, it will look super cool and on its own I think it looks cool so yeah I'm really happy with this palette as well I think it's the same formula the shadows are like in the cherry on top so so far I am really happy and it's going to be fun next up I think it's the bubble next up it's cotton candy so if you want to see that just keep on watching and also if you want to see is it called bubblegum? How can I not remember? Yeah, bubblegum and pistachio. Just keep on watching. So time for the next palette, which is cotton candy. And I am really intrigued by this palette. It looks like this. So it's the pink and purple palette. And I will swatch this so we will see how it looks. I think I know on Oh, I know I think I know what I want to do I must stop saying that all the time because it's often doesn't get there but I would swatch these and I hope it is as amazing as the other two okay so these are the swatches and it feels like these first two shimmers are kind of like a topper or they are pretty light if I just compare them to the other two palettes the matte shadows though, they look amazing, so <laughs> I will stare at this a little bit and then I come back and I think I'm going to do two different eyes. So I'm going to try to do one pink eye and one purple eye and we will see if I can do that, but I think I should be able to do that. So I think I will use 
these four on one eye and these four on the other eye. This fluff though seems a little bit to the pinkish side, but I go with these four on one eye and these four on the other. So I think I will do this pink and this purple. And I will try to do this kind of fast. So I will start because I think I want to do just... Or do I want to do that? I don't know. I will start with the lightest in my crease. So Carnival on the pink eye and Confection on the purple eye. And... I love to do two different eyes because I just think it's fun and even if you have a like a more toned down palette to do two different eyes make everything everything <laughs> everything fun and I just I don't think that the two colors need to match each other I think you can mix and match two different eyes as you want to and I really love to do this and I hope it will look I hope it will be a fun look I thought <laughs> Astrid was here but it was a white shoe shoe or cat almost the same thing okay, this looks so good. So I go in with the light purple confection on the other. I hope that this will look as good. And I was really so intrigued to use this palette when, when I got the palettes home and I open all to see if they were hole and uh, nothing was broken and just to look at them in real life this I was very very intrigued by this and that feels a little bit different for being me because pink and purple isn't my favorite but I think like pink is starting to grow on me and also purple actually this pink one is amazing and it's now I don't really know what I want to do because I want to do the same thing on both eyes so it doesn't look too off even though I have I just have to swatch a little bit and I think these might stain my eyes a little bit because my fingers look a little bit stained especially from the pink but what to do with the drunken sailor? So on the pink eye then I will take light and airy and swirl and I will take tyke. What's up with my... What's up with me today? I will take light and airy on the outer just a little bit and then take swirl on the most on my lid. And on the purple eye I will take sugar plum in the outer corner and take sugar yeah on the rest so i start with light and airy just like out here because i want this mostly to be shimmers and can you hear the kids outside maybe this is a little bit more to the purple I don't really care. And then I take sugar plum and that brush was dirty. So I take sugar plum. Take it out here. I think I like the pink eye the most so far. Then I'm going in with shimmers. So I will take swirl on the pink I've already said this and sugar on the purple okay now it's like brain farts brain fart brain fart brain fart okay swirl we'll see 
so I take that here and this maybe is not the best brush but it works I am still so impressed with these palettes these are not that much of a difference the shimmer and the matte so swirl and light and airy it's not such a big difference on them so I'm going in with light and airy a little bit more I really do like this and I also go in with carnival here Okay, and then let's take a sugar. This was a bad brush, I think. Yeah. In here. No, it was not a bad brush. Ooh. It feels like this is a little more... Like, not so opaque as the other shimmers. But I can build it up, so no worries there. But I think a glitter glue would have been good for this one. Maybe just another brush. I take a little bit more denser brush. This brush always works. It's from Linda Hallberg. It's the 303. This is like my absolute favorite eyeshadow brush of all times okay I am not blown away by this sugar shade but I kind of felt it with my swatches it doesn't feel that opaque as the other shimmers I've tried it's still workable but feels like this would look so good if I either have taken a glitter glue or if I would have taken sugar plum on my whole lid and then just deepen down. Uh, no, then just take sugar and put it over the sugar plum. But I still... F it's workable, but it's like in the middle here. Give it a little... I don't know either. <laughs> Because this feels a little bit of a duochrome and I don't know if it's just, if it's an empty space or if it is just a duochrome that is making the illusion that it is an empty space. I think it might just be the duochrome. Okay, it feels like this eye is so powerful and this is not. Okay, so the lids are done. I'm going to... As normal, take off the fallouts, fix my base, and I think I will swatch. S swap. Swatch. Just don't listen to me. I think I will swap so I take pink under this eye and purple under this eye to make it a little bit more happy and a li little bit more fun. So, yeah, base and brows. So, I think for my under eyes that I'm going in with. I will start with the ones I had in my crease, so Carnival and Confection. And now I have to do this right. So I take Confection, the purple one, under the pink eye. I think this is enough and then I go in with carnival the pink one under the purple eye so so that I have two colors left it's twirl this one and fluff this one so I think I'm going with my pinky and I take the pink twirl here and the purple fluff here it's my inner corner and when I have done this I have used all the shades 
Okay, I think this is a fun look. So I will take something in my waterline, put on mascara, try to choose a lippy. I think purple and pink I have the hardest time to choose a lip before when I do purple and pink and now when I have purple and pink what am I going to take? I don't know so <laughs> I will fix the last things and then we will see everything okay for my waterline on this <laughs> the pink one I used boots from Colourpop on the purple I used piggy bank also from Colourpop and on my lip I took a Colourpop lipstick this is Bury Me in a Lipstick it was the Sophia Nygaard and Colourpop collection collab and yeah this is the finished look I think it's a fun look and I like it I like the pink eye the most but I think it's a fun look I love to do two different eyes because you, then you don't have to decide and I used all the shades in this palette. I feel that these two were more suitable. Maybe as a topper or with a glitter glue underneath. It worked with this that I have on this purple eye. But it was not like impactful as the other. But I still like how it turned out. This palette looks so fun. It's been fun to do it. And now it's only two more palettes to go. And... I don't know if it is the two I'm looking most forward to use left. Next up it will be bubblegum and then the last one will be pistachio. Pistachio? Pistachio. It's time for look number four and that is with the blue one, the bubblegum. And it looks like this. I think this is the darkest one of the five I have because here... It's like three light colors and the rest are dark. So I'm going to swatch this and then just do a makeup look. And here are the swatches. This shimmer looks really like greenish and yeah. I really like those. I think it is a good color and it feels like all the shimmers are as in the cherry on top and orange sorbet and not like in the cotton candy where one no two felt like a topper these feel really opaque all of them and the darker blue looks really really good so i'm going to try to figure out what i want to do i think i want to try to do a pretty dark look with a really light inner corner yes because this palette has such dark shades and i actually think this is the darkest one so i wanted to do a dark look so i will plan a little bit or at least try and then prime my eyes and we get started so i'm going to start with bubbles as Sweeten it. Sweeten. These two in my crease I take first this one and then I'm going to deepen it down a little bit with that. And I don't think that I will use all the shades in this palette. Now we will see. I know that like blue shades aren't always the best. Lighter blues usually are kind of good, but it's darker blues that is a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to use this single scoop, the really dark one, just to test it out. But this one is good. And if you're wondering about my little pinkish lower lash, it's from the cotton candy palette I used it yesterday I don't know if it's visible on camera or not but if you see something and now Astrid is here I am so sorry if you think it's annoying but it's like I
we want our cats to always be with us when they want to so we don't want to take them away so they maybe believe that we don't want them with us so she's going to be here as long as she can behave okay i'm going in with uh, this one and take it and deepen down my crease and we will see now how this will look if they blend good together and if they suit each other I think they do I think though I should have gone in with the lightest Uh, this chili in my inner corner and somebody's making sounds outside okay so now I go into the single scoop on my outer corner and then I will take sweet tooth on almost my whole lid because when I swatched it it looked amazing and I will see this deep deep dark blue how it is so far, really good. I think it worked really, really good. The deep blue one. So now I'm going in with Sweet Tooth, as I said, and take it on the most of my lid. But I want some space on my lid to take. I think I will take Frozen way in the corner so I will try to not take this the whole way and this seemed to have like a little hint of green in it and that frozen also seemed to have that so it's why I want to have them on my eyelid okay this was so so nice and really really easy to work with and I'm putting it over the single scoop the dark blue itch on my nose but then I also go in with a little of the single scoop and now I'm going to take frozen on my inner part and I will not cut my crease I really hope that this will work, but it looks really good on the brush. So let's do this. Okay, maybe I should have cut it and it would have looked amazing. But this also works. Yes, it does. I am really impressed by those palettes. I haven't been disappointed yet and I have one more to go. The green one, the pistachio. And it feels like I want to go in with... I think I take Bubbles, this one that I had in my crease. Or should I? No, I maybe should take Chili, this one. And take it tap it off and then take it in here so okay the lids are done like this I'm going to take away the fallouts fix my base and my brows and then do my under eyes and it's now I don't know it's only two colors I haven't used it's blueberry and pop so maybe I should try to use them. Maybe I could take blueberry on my lower lash actually and take pop and pop it in my inner corner. Maybe I should do that so I have used all the shades in this one as well. We will see. I might do that. So time for base and brows. Time for the under eyes then. And I am going to take blueberry on my whole lower lash. I really hope it works because it is a shimmer after all. And then pop 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 take pop in my inner corner as an inner corner highlight so i'll start with blueberry and we will see if this works or not it 
do work and I think the shimmer is also coming through a little bit. And then I take pop with my pinky. So, like that, the eyes are all done and I use all the shades. So I am going to pop something in my inner corner, no, not in my inner corner, on my waterline, mascara and a lipstick. So this is the finished look for my waterline. Why don't you stick? I took an LA Shockwave, LA Girl Shockwave pen in electric. I electric or is it just electric? I don't know. And on my lips I took Lime Crimes Riot Liquid Velveteen. And yeah, this is my bubble gum look. I really like the look. And this shade Sweet Tooth, such a nice shade. It is kind of green, but I think it goes really really good together with both the single scoop and frozen. So I'm happy with this look and I like that this palette is a little bit darker so, so, so I can do like a dark, dark look. So I used all the colors in this. I think they performed really good, all the colors. So that makes me happy. And yeah, now it's only one palette left, the pistachio, and then it's coming a review. So if you want to see the pistachio look, just keep on watching. Now it's time for the last one, the pistachio. The green palette and I am so looking forward to use this so I'm going to swatch the shades for you I know what kind of look I want to do but I don't really know which colors I want to use so I'm going to swatch them for you and maybe then I know what I want to use maybe so here are the swatches of the pistachio and this looks amazing, this looks amazing, this, this, this. All the colors look amazing in this palette. So it's going to be hard to decide which ones I want to use because I don't know if I can fit all to my eye because I am doing a halo eye. I haven't done a halo eye with these palettes so now it's time for the halo. So I'm going to decide which colors I want to use and then we start with a halo eye. So I will start with Soft Serve, this really light matte shade and take it in my crease. And this swatch is really light, so I really hope it is light on my in my crease as well. I think it's kinda light actually. It feels like I don't have to go in with like I really have to pack it on. Nothing strange about that because it is a really, really light shade. And I am so hoping that you will like this series. And if you have watched all the other looks, welcome to the final one. I hope you are not bored. And if this is the only look you are watching, Welcome. That's down and I really like it. I think it looks good. Now I will go in with co 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 cone. Cone. Cone or cup. This darkest one. And very very lightly just take it out here and in here because I'm going to use two shimmers in my halo. I like never do that. I'm going to try this time, so I just want insy, insy, insy bit of this, just like out here. And if you have seen me do halo eyes before, um, it's not like the thing I am best at, and I'm not always taking like. A shade in my crease when I'm doing halo but I want to use as much of the shades that I can with this palette so and I really wanted to use that light one 
I'm afraid that I'm going to get too much in my inner corner. But we'll see. I think I never have been this trying to be precise with a halo eye before. I think this is kind of good actually. So for my halo, I will take crunch and treat, I at least think. Will you look good together? Here they are swatch next to each other and I think that will do. So I will take crunch, the darker one. It's going to take away the swatches. So I will take crunch, the darkest one, just on the corner of the halo and then take treat in the middle. And I don't know why I changed to this septum ring because it drives me nuts. So, time to be a little concentrated. So I take crunch first, the dark one, and take it out here just on the edge and I am not using any glitter glue. I don't know if I might need to use it with a treat later on but I don't I don't hope so. Okay maybe I shouldn't but it's strange to do a halo with two colors like because I was like maybe I should just take treat now but that is maybe a little strange halo. So I'll just take a little of crunch. And Astrid is here. And just maybe I can put it on the corner cup, the dark matte one. And now she is coming. So if the camera moves a little bit, it is Astrid. Okay, now I have a really. Men du, vi kanske. Okay, so now I have a really, really thin line left to treat. So we will see how this. Hopefully, it will stick really good and blend into crunch. And I actually think it does. And I hope I don't like to do my halo eyes like this because this was a little bit harder than I usually do. It feels like Treat is taking over from Crunch, but I still feel like it made a little difference, but I'm going in with Crunch again, the darker one. Just out here. So now I don't know, because I have hooded eyes, so, and that's why I usually don't take a crease shade when I'm doing my halos because I really want the halo to show which it doesn't do right now so I don't know if I want to take all the colors up a little bit or maybe just treat but at the same time it looks a little bit weird okay I'm going to take cone or cup dark one and smudge it up just go in a little 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 tiny bit and also tap it off it feels like I want to stop this here because I don't want to ruin this because I really like how it looks so I'm going to do the same on this eye Okay, now it looks better than that eye and then on this eye. Sometimes I wonder if I just should do like one eye. It would make things so much easier for me. Okay, I think it will not be any better than this. I like this eye far more than this. Maybe if I go in with just a brush and Smudge your finger a little bit. 
but I like don't want to destroy anything. It feels like this eye has so much more of treat. Okay, I think I just going to stop it here or and now they don't look even because this is so much higher up than this. Fuck. I should just stop what I'm doing. But like I can't. I'm going to fuck this look up. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it like this and now I film for so long. But I actually think I'm happy. I'm more happy with this eye than on this side looks. Like the shadows are more intense on this eye for some reason, at least for me. I don't know how it is for you, but that's how it looks for me. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows. And now I have used four shades. So I've used Soft Serve, Treat, Crunch, Cone or Cup. And I'm thinking about taking Guilty Pleasure and Nare on my lower lash and then take Dessert in my inner corner. But it annoys me a little bit if I haven't used Sweet Life. I will see if I maybe put that on my lower lash as well. But yeah, base and brows and then I come back. I think I have figured out a way to use all the shadows. So I'm going to start with Guilty Pleasure this light green on almost my whole lower lash. A little bit here and I got foundation on my ring. And it feels like I have a little bit of staining from my eyes, especially my lower lash from the bubblegum palette I used earlier today. Yes, I have done two makeup looks on one day. So, and uh, then uh, my hair. I will go in with not this one just to deepen it down. I don't know if this will help anything, but. Maybe not. Maybe on half of my eye, uh, half of my lower lash line. And then I'm going in with a Sweet Life on the rest. And I don't know if this brush is a good brush for this. I will try. And I'm not going to spray this and I'm a little bit afraid so I'm going to tap it off quite a lot. And then I don't know if this made any difference at all except for me putting glitter on my face but the last thing I want to do I'm actually going to spray and I'm going to take this dessert and spray it and put it in my inner corner and I have Okay, so I have the fan on, it's standing a little bit on the side of me and I have to have it on before or else I can't record anything, but it makes my hair float around and my setting spray as well. Okay, so I'm just taking it in here and... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is the first inner corner shade that I spray. Okay, I... I'm really, really happy. And now I actually used all the shades in this palette. So I'm going to put something in my waterline, put on mascara and choose one red lipstick. Because, yes, I'm doing red to my green eyes. So I will fix that and then I come back. So this is the finished look. For my waterline I used Teaspoon from Colourpop and on my lip I took Rumors from Nabla. I love this red and the best thing with this 
it is not limited edition so if you want this you can buy it so this is the finished look with the pistachio, pistachio palette and I actually used all the colors okay so I think it's just time to hop into the review part and I'm going to talk a little bit about the palettes like in one because I think all the palettes are equally good when it comes to the quality but I thought that I can show you each of the palettes and talk a little bit about them one thing I can start though with all of the palettes I have five of the six palettes packaging wise I love that they form that they are an ice cream I showed this in the beginning but you can okay I'm going to drop them but as you can see they like you can build an ice cream with them and I love that when a brand is releasing a collection and packaging wise they do um, a, they build a picture and with this you build an ice cream okay where did I want to go with that but I love that I think it's very fun and I wish that more brands would do that even though <laughs> It's a little bit annoying now that I don't have the brown one, the cone one, because then I don't have the whole ice cream, but I really like that. Also, all the shades are built the same way, so they have a big mirror. I really like that. I know that not all love mirrors in palettes, but I do. And all of the palettes also have four shimmer shades and four matte shades. And I think that is good when they're doing really like... Assyria, like the sweet shop. I really appreciate that. So that is about the palettes and they feel really good and I think the size is good. But my palette smells a little bit. I don't know what they are smelling but it's not that bad anymore but all they smell. I don't know why. I don't like that. But okay, if we start with the sherry on top. It looks like this. I really, really love this palette. I think it is a good theme and I think all the colors are really good. Can I bend this back? Yes. I think that the colors goes really good together. And I like in this palette this that it has a really, really dark matte shade. I have nothing to complain about at all with this palette. I don't miss anything, I don't want to add anything, I really really like it and the sh shadows are, the shimmers are so so creamy. So if we go into the sweet shop orange sorbet that I don't know how to pronounce, it looks like this and I love this one as well because I love orange, it's one of my favorites. One thing maybe I, if I could switch out anything about this palette, it would be this one. I think I would like a more deep orange than like the extra topping, a little bit deeper. I have nothing against this shade. I don't think I used it though, but it doesn't look off in the palette. So yeah, I really like it. And I, it feels like I'm going to say that about all the palettes because I really, really do like them. Then the, next up is Cotton Candy. And this, I think, has the most interesting color story because it is both pink and purple. And I really like that the pink are here and the purple is here. The only thing with this that I don't felt with the others this feel more like a topper they worked really good to have on their own but i think as toppers they would look amazing but other than that i really like it and <laughs> i did two different eyes with this so i did a pink eye and a purple eye really love that look and in this one i don't think i actually miss anything I used all the colors, so happy with it, and I think this is the most fun color story, actually. Next up is a bubblegum, the blue one. 
And here, did I use all the colors? I think I did. I think it was only in the orange. I didn't. It looks like this. And the thing I love most about this is that it is so dark. All these four shades are kind of dark and this shade was amazing. And this worked really, really good, this dark blue. I didn't have any problems to pack it on and it didn't it didn't fade it didn't look patchy or anything so that made me really happy because these kind of dark dark blues are sometimes a little bit hard to work with but this was so good the only thing i have with all the palettes that have a really really light shade like this one you have to really build it up but it still looks light so I think that is good, but just have that in mind. It's the same with the I have in my crease from the pistachio. I needed to build it up pretty much. It's workable, it's no problems, but just so you know. So if you have this palette and don't think that this is so good, just keep going in with more and more and more and it will look really, really good. And then the last one, pistachio this I really start to like green and it's the same as in the bubble gum I really like the darker shades in down here I really appreciate that one thing I would change in this palette is I would switch these two because I would like to have the lightest shimmer over the lightest matte one and I think if that is the only complaint I have that's not like even a complaint and this worked so so good and one thing I think of all the palettes the shimmers are really really easy to work with also the mattes are really easy to work with but I am super impressed with the shimmers I am like blown away by these palettes these are the first palettes I try from BH Cosmetics I don't know if everything is this good but if it is why haven't I bought any beach cosmetics palettes? I don't know. But I am really, really happy with this. I'm so happy that I bought these five. And I first was thinking like, maybe I'm going to rank them, but... I don't know how to do that. And at the same time, it feels like if you want the blue, if you want blue shadows, Pick the bubble gum if you want the green. Pick pistachio if you want the orange. <laughs> Take the orange sor sorbet. So I think all the palettes are as good. They are all really, really good. Where will I go with this? I don't know. They are all really good and you can just pick the one that you like the colors are from. I don't know if these are still available. I have heard or seen on Instagram that the blue one is sold out. I don't know if these are coming back, but they are a limited edition, but I only think they've had like the release. So I think they should come back. If you live in Europe, you can buy them from the German BH Cosmetics sites, maybe from the UK as well. I am not that known to BH Cosmetics. All I know is they haven't come to Sweden and I guess they will never be come to Sweden. I don't know if they are coming to Beauty Bay, they are not there yet, so I don't think they will come to Beauty Bay. But I can leave the German site down in the description if you want to buy any of these. But I give them 10 out of 10. These are really fun palettes. And I am so, so happy that I bought them all. But it annoys me a bit that I don't have the comb. But I am really pleased with the palette. It has been so fun. I think I never have filmed five looks this fast as I have done this. I think I have just filmed for three days. It was a long time ago since I was this excited about palettes. And that's mainly because I haven't heard any bad reviews on them. And this is not a bad review either. And if you missed out, I really hope for your sake that they are coming back if you want them. 
I can really recommend them. And yeah, I guess that was all. And I thank you so much if you have watched the whole video. Please comment a little ice cream emo emoji. Emoji. <laughs> emoji down in the comments if you watched all the videos. It's going to be a pain in the ass to edit this. And to upload it and to put cards in this. So I really hope you liked this video. It's been so fun to do this. So, so, so fun. I'm thinking about maybe doing a palette bingo with these and take one color from each of the palettes. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it if they are not available, all the palettes anymore, and I do that. If you want me to do it, I will, but it will take a couple of days before that video will come up but it has been so fun to play with these i am so so pleased with them and i don't regret any of them so yeah that was all for this super long video i am so happy that you have watched the whole video if you have if you only have watched one or two looks i'm so happy as well i really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I can promise you it's not, I usually don't do these long videos. It's going to be under two hours, hopefully under one and a half hour. Maybe not, I don't know. But I really hope you liked it and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And this hair has been really annoying, right?